bunkers are so cool. They've all been cemented out. It's telling me that there are a couple of them that are still open and they know somebody that wants to turn one into a bar, which if that happens, please let me know. I will be back. Otherwise, they just add some very interesting color to the landscape and also some holes you don't want to fall into. Like that one or that one. Oh. Ah! This is an oyster farm. You can see like they've got everything set up for mussels and whatever out here, but it looks like these guys, maybe they just keep storing them before they ship them off. That makes more sense. I mean, there's, there's shells everywhere. So today's my last day here. It's been very nice. I've enjoyed it. I've slept a lot. I didn't expect that. But good. The plan is to go exploring a little bit more today. So going to check out a new part of Ile de Ré, get lunch in town, have a nice time out, hanging out before my train, which would be really, really lovely. I thought maybe we would ask Natasha some questions about creativity because I've been thinking a lot about like, what does it mean to drop projects? Like in focusing in and really trying to focus everything I have on this, I still have a lot of projects that are hanging on. I still, you know, between social media platforms, newsletter, I've already put a lot of things on hold, like my podcast, traveling, I need to focus down. But it's amazing how many more things are still there or how many things crop up. And I end up making myself busy when I probably don't need to be. Like I need to be thoughtful, productive, and focused. So, Natasha is one of the few people I know that has walked away from over a million followers and is happier for it. And I thought maybe you'd be curious to hear what she has to say about it. Because when I first met her and I found out she was just focusing on her books and she'd walked away from like a combined million followers across her platforms, it kind of blew my mind. And I was like, what, why? What? I didn't even have a thousand subscribers at that point and I couldn't, I couldn't comprehend it. I understand it much better now, but you know, she's the wise one. So maybe we should ask her. And I'm gonna start running, uh, I'm gonna start running back now because uh, I think the rain is coming and I don't really want to get caught in it. the edge of it. These bunkers are like really cool to see in person. Apparently there's a movement to have them destroyed. So there's kind of a discussion going on as to whether or not to keep them. It's good to see them before they're gone, if they're gone and understandably. But I still have never gotten to the beaches, the beaches in Normandy. I need to make sure I do that. Like I, I need to get, speaking of the road tripping, it's gotta be high on the list. Is it me? Is it me? You missed me! Il est toujours content de courir après. If you're a rugby fan, you're also bound to know La Rochelle for being the best. At least right now, I'm pretty sure they're the champions of Europe. And yes, I am talking to you from inside of a toilet, uh, because... Uh, poster. <laughs> now, oh, huh? hey. We had a nice walk. Oh my gosh, the beach it was so nice. I didn't actually expect to like it as much as I did. Like, that was just a delightful stroll. Kind of reminded me of walking on the beach near Seattle. Strange. Also, uh, a little stroll through town. We bounced around between places because we couldn't find anything that was open or had space for us. But eventually, 
found a meal and it was good. And thanks to today's patron producer, Jeff Slaughter, and all my patrons, of course, for sending me out here to see La Rochelle finally. Finally getting my book signed. She's always got another trick up her sleeve. You can't get one over on Natasha. She's got two books to buy one. I was just saying I can't I can't ever get one up on you. You've always got two. <laughs> I had a question I was gonna ask you about what we've been talking about about social media and the courage to walk away from a large following. I don't know, I just think you have to always know what is important to you, right? And that yeah. that changes with time and what you need and what you want out of life. That was a wonderful period of my life and Natasha was a fashion blogger and <laughs> had over a million followers at the time, just to, just for context. Yeah. <laughs> no, and it was wonderful, and I'm, I'm so grateful for everything that that brought me. Also, like, yeah, time is just the most precious commodity I have, and mm. when I realize, like, it, I'm actually not that fashionable. I like, disagree. <laughs> <laughs> so many factors came into it, like, what do I want out of my life? What mm. do I actually want to do day to day? And for me, like, day to day is this. Like, I obviously, you know, I just enjoy the small, slow life, and mm. that's what's good for me, that's what's good for me my health that's what's good for my soul mm. and whenever you move away from something it's not you know taking away from the achievement of that thing <laughs> no it's I think I just admire you in, for a lot of reasons but I think your courage to pursue specifically what you want yeah I, I, I think having health issues can give you a great perspective on that right because you are so much more aware of your mortality you're so much more aware of how limited your time may be but mm. also your sort of usable and functional time and so I don't want to you know I want to put my energy towards the things I really love and that's not to say I didn't love blogging I did and you know I enjoyed it but when I realized that I was just kind of doing it because it, it was there and um, actually there were other things I wanted to achieve more you know so however you're going about it you're doing it yeah there you go anyways can you sign my book please <laughs> I brought this all the way from Paris and I need you to sign it <laughs> my first one in person there you go thank you yeah I've got my pen what am I which one am I dedicating so this one this one yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not that I'm going to show you what I wrote that's, that's just for her